Hello. Um, so guys, today I'm going to be talking about my Instagram account. So, oh, bear with me y'all. This is going to kind of be like a long story. But let's get started. Hold on. Let me put on some of this lip gloss, please. Uh -uh. Okay. So, on the 21st, on the 23rd, sorry, on the 23rd of June, um, it was just a normal day. So, I went to my Instagram account and to just check what's going on on Instagram, my normal day-to-day -day activities as a media personality. And as soon as I went to my Instagram app and I logged in, I noticed that a white screen or black screen came up saying that there has been some suspicious activity on your account, um, confirm you're a real human being and you can proceed. So um, those Google boxes popped up where you have to either click on buses or cars and it takes you to the next stage. So I did that. And when I got to the next stage, um, it showed me that, um, okay, um, we're going to send you a number. We're going to send you a code to the phone number that is attached to your Instagram account. So I felt, okay, you know what, let me just go ahead and do this. So I put in the code that he sent me to my number and it took me to another screen saying, you know, thank you um, for providing this information. Once we verify that you're the owner of the account, your account will be back in 24 hours. So I just felt at that point, maybe someone is trying to hack into my account and Instagram is protecting my account by you know disabling it or deactivating it in order for me not to lose it to a hacker that's the first thing that came to my mind so i was like okay, you know what i'm gonna wait for these 24 hours but it got to a point where i was like i was checking videos i was checking pictures and people said that um this only pops up when instagram wants to actually disable your account so i started to panic and from that point on i started filling out forms i filled out the deactivation form i filled out um the disabled form so many help forms that i went to the help center mind you the help center of instagram is not that helpful i don't know why they call it a help center because it really doesn't do anything to help you but i went there i filled out all the forms i did everything i was supposed to do i waited for 24 hours and nothing happened i logged back in and that shit came up again so i was like oh my god what is going on so at that point i started watching videos doing different things to try to get my account back and just trying to understand why this is happening to me because i remember about a year ago i had another account and that account was disabled but it was disabled because of copyright reasons i was streaming a show um that i wasn't meant to stream and i was posting videos that were longer than one minute that was from a reality show so what happened was that the owners of the show actually contacted Instagram and said, this person is using our content. We need you to take this account down. So I got an email from Instagram telling me that, um, you know, um, people are reporting my account for copyright. I need to stop doing anything that I'm doing that is making them report my account. So at that point, I was like, OK, I'm going to stop. So I decided I stopped streaming the show. I deleted every single video. That was longer than one minute that was related to that show then two days later i tried to log into my account and i couldn't log in this was a year ago then i went to check my email and i saw that the instagram sent me a message and said your account has been disabled due to copyright violations we previously warned you that if you continue to infringe on people's right we'll take that account down but for me i didn't understand why this was happening because yes i did you know um, go against the guidelines but when they told me to stop i stopped immediately so at that point i felt as if you know if they told me to stop and i stopped why is my my account still coming down so um at that point i was filling out forms i was reaching out to people i went through the facebook concierge support they were like they're going to open a case on my behalf they did but it didn't really get anywhere they kept on responding saying that your account was disabled due to copyright reasons all right cool so after that, I um, continued filling forms. But to be honest, in this particular instance, I didn't really go as hard because I did violate Instagram's rules and regulations. I did violate it. So I was like, you know what? If I don't get the account, so be it. So I didn't get the account and I started from scratch. I had about 3,000 followers on my backup page. So I changed my backup page to my name and put it like an underscore beside it. 
So I started afresh. Mind you, the first page they deactivated was about 30,000 people that were following me at that point. So it was crushing because I had to start again. But I was like, okay, I, I, just, I went against the guidelines. So, all right, it's cool, whatever. I started all over again and built my account from 2,000 followers to about 47K. Now, this is when the whole issue of this particular situation came. The reason why I'm making this video. So um, in this, the second go around, I was like, there's no way I'm losing this account because I didn't violate any Instagram rules or regulations. I can't start all over again and I didn't do anything wrong. So I felt like, why would they take my account down? This must be a mistake. So um, in the forms that I filled, I kept on stating that this is a mistake. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't violate any rules. And it's important that when you're trying to get your account back, you don't beg Instagram. Don't tell them that, oh, I did something wrong and maybe my account was deleted because of this. Uh-uh. Keep on saying that you didn't do anything wrong. This is a mistake. This is a glitch. This is an error. That's why I just kept on doing it over and over again. It got to a point that the email that was attached to my Instagram account where I was trying to fill the appeals to stop receiving calls, you know? So when I saw that that happened, um, I watched videos again and they told me that sometimes Instagram blocks your IP if you send too many deactivated forms, you know? So I felt like, okay, I shouldn't keep filling forms. But when I watch other videos, people said, don't stop filling forms, keep on doing it, stay on their neck, which is what I did. Nothing worked, absolutely nothing. I went to the Facebook concierge support. I explained that, look, I didn't do anything wrong. I don't know what's going on. And they kept on saying the same thing over and over again. They can't do anything to help me because this is not Instagram, this is Facebook. But I explained to them that, isn't Facebook attached to Instagram? Is it not the same company? So why can't you help me? But they said that they don't have access to things like that. They can just see that my account is disabled. They can tell me the reason why it's disabled, but they can't help me get it back. They can try to escalate my case, which they did. And mind you, the only way you can get that Facebook concierge support is if you run an ad on your Facebook business page. And if your Facebook business page is connected to your Instagram account that got disabled. So that's why I was able to have access to the Facebook concierge support. So they opened the case for me. You know, I kept on going back every day to find out what's going on. The crazy thing is every single agent I spoke to gave me different reasons why my account was deactivated or disabled. Some said it was because of advertising policies. Some said it's because um, I posted content that I shouldn't have posted. You know, some said I have some spam, different things. They didn't give me a direct answer. And another thing that struck me as odd was because the last time my account got disabled, Instagram sent me an email straight up saying your account was disabled. This is what you did. Boom. So in my head is if they haven't sent you an email telling you that this is what you did and this is why your account has, has been disabled, there's a chance you get it back because they can't state to you what you did wrong. If you did something wrong, Instagram will tell you straight up. They don't have a problem telling you that. So if you didn't get that email, you can get your account back and you can fight for it, which is what I did. Anyways, so, um, you know, Facebook concierge didn't help me in any way. And I was getting frustrated. Three days have passed. You know, it's going to a week. And they told me that my account would be restored in 48 hours. Some of the agents I spoke to, but I kept on going back. Nothing has happened. Nothing has changed. I still can't access my account. So um, they kept on saying that they are still working on the case. All I can do is wait, especially due to COVID-19, because COVID-19 is happening, so they run out of staff and things like that. But I felt like it's been almost a week. I don't think it should take this long, but they didn't listen. But there's one thing you should try. When you're messaging Facebook concierge support, they can actually help you. Make sure you're nice. Make sure you're polite. Make sure you're patient. If you're not, it's, this is not going to work for you. Just try to be patient. I know this is hard, especially if you put your blood, sweat, and tears into your account and you are a business owner like I am. I'm a media personality. So my Instagram account is where I make my coin. I know that applies to you if you're watching this video, but still try to take your time and just be persistent. Don't lose hope. Um, so um, Facebook didn't help me. I went to LinkedIn. I tried to contact people that work at Instagram. They didn't respond to my messages. I found three phone numbers that belonged to um, Instagram. So my name popped out. Bear with me. 
I found three different numbers that were owned by Facebook and Instagram. I called them every single day. Nobody picked up. Radio silence. I was just able to leave a voicemail. So in the voicemail, make sure that you're detailed. Make sure you state your username. Make sure you state your email address. And make sure you state your number. So if they do want to check it, they can reach out to you. Just make sure you do that. And do it quick because it has to be under 60 seconds. So um, I did all of that. Nothing worked. I was getting frustrated. A week has passed. It's almost like two weeks now. Because my account was disabled for 17 days. 17 days. That's how long it was disabled. So um, after I, um, I messaged them on LinkedIn, it didn't work. I called them, it didn't work. I started to look for email addresses that were attached to Instagram or Facebook. And I actually found like three different emails. So I sent a whole bunch of emails to them telling them that something is wrong with my account. It's not working. And I didn't do anything wrong. I kept on saying that. They didn't respond to me either. Now, I'm getting tired, exhausted, day in, day out, of holding numbers, holding codes. Because when they send you the code, you have to hold a paper up. You have to put the code. You have to put your username and you have to put your name. I have so many codes in my house right now. So many. I think like almost like 50 or 60 at this point. So um, I didn't get the email back. <sighs> All right. I watched another YouTube video where a guy was talking about reporting your account as report an impersonation account. So basically, you can tell Instagram, you can fill out the impersonation form and tell Instagram, look, this is a name, this is my name, this is my username. I think my account was disabled by mistake because I reported a, an account that was impersonating me. But Instagram took down my page instead of the a page that was impersonating me. You can say that and you get it back. They'll ask you to hold up your ID, take a photo, and things like that. And chances are, they're going to respond to you quicker with the impersonation account more than your disabled account. Because Instagram takes impersonation very seriously. You know, and because the deactivated forms has so many backlogs, but the impersonation form, not a lot of people fill it. Or not as much as the, the disabled or deactivated form. So try that. If I knew that, that's the first thing I would have tried. And you'll probably get back, they'll probably get back to you, send you an email like a day later or that same day, hold your ID up, take a picture of yourself, showing your ID and show your face in the picture. I send it to them and they're going to look at your account and reactivate it. That, that probably, that, that works 100%. It works. So do that. Um, it happened to me. So they sent me the email telling me that I should hold up my ID, take a picture and send it to them. I did that. As I was waiting for that, other YouTube video that I watched, I saw a girl talking about she hired a hacker on Fiverr and they helped her get her account back in 24 hours. So I just thought, you know what, let me give Fiverr a try. I went to Fiverr, I put in the box, um, disabled Instagram account, re recover disabled or deactivated Instagram account. A bunch of people showed up. I looked at the ratings of each and every agent and i chose the agent that has the best ratings five star and he has been on fiverr for more than like two years now don't go with the guys that have just been there for like a month or even six months go with guys that have been there longer so i messaged a guy and i told him what my situation was he asked me if i've done this if i've done that i said yes i've done that so he said you know what hold on because he used to work for facebook he said hold on so what happened is he told me to download AnyDex. AnyDex is a kind of like a, a, a stream service where you can see what's happening re remotely. Someone can control your account remotely or your, or your laptop remotely. So I downloaded AnyDex and um, he took over my, um, my, my computer because I, I was literally watching him while he was moving the mouse and doing everything. Mind you, if you want to do this and the person um, tells you to do this AnyDex stuff, Make sure you are watching exactly what they're doing. Make sure it's in front of you. Don't go away so you can see what they're doing on your computer. So um, this guy, you know, he went to the help center. He filled out the deactivated form and he sent it. And he was like, wait, don't say anything again. Don't send any more forms. So I waited. 24 hours, I didn't receive the code. I sent another appeal the next day and I received the code. So um, I messaged him. I was like, okay, I've received the code. I've sent them a picture that he asked. And he was like, 
you shouldn't have sent them anything i told you to wait don't touch anything so he was kind of like don't do anything unless i tell you to do it but i went ahead and sent the code when i wasn't supposed to so i was like okay i apologize what can we do now he took control of my um laptop again and used any decks and he went to the picture that i sent to instagram and he kicked on he clicked on inspector so basically where it's kind of like it kind of looks like they're hacking your account but they are not where you can inspect you know the content of a picture digitally so you can see if there's bugs you can see anything you can press some stuff to clean up the picture and things like that he did something in the inspector um part and he said okay i've fixed it this should work and um he told me that you know what let's send it let's see if they respond but it didn't respond so he was like okay let's take another picture so i took another picture and um, he told me exactly what to do make sure you use a black marker make sure you use a huge white paper make sure it's bold i'm going to show you guys the pictures that i used what he told me to do exactly so he did that and um, i took the picture i sent it to him he did the stuff again with the inspector on the picture and he sent it to them less than an hour later no joke i get an email from instagram your account has been reactivated it was disabled by mistake i was like i was so happy yo mind you it's been 17 days 17 days with no access to my account and i had brand deals lined up so i was panicking so when i got that email i was so happy guys you, if you're watching this video you're lucky because you don't have to go through everything i went through for 17 days i can just refer you to the fiverr guy and you'll help boom you get your account back in 24 hours no joke i was like oh my god i wish i tried this earlier or sooner so if you know you're in this predicament just message that guy on fiverr i'm gonna put his handle there so you guys can see so when you search on fiverr look for his username and just message him just say that um i heard that you helped this person get the account back please can you help me he is a hundred percent legit and you know a crazy the crazy thing is that he helped me without even asking for money first but this might not work for you by the way so if he's asking you to pay pay that shit and get your account back okay but it worked for me and i was so happy i was so happy he didn't charge me before it happened it was after i got my account back so anyways guys that's the whole ordeal with my instagram page i got deactivated or disabled and how i got it back try to go through the methods i told you in this video i'm going to link everything down below those are pill forms you can fill it but my my best advice to you go to this fiverr guy let him do his shit and just get your account back and if you're someone in this predicament i'm so sorry i am i'm so so sorry i know what you're going through trust me it sucks absolutely sucks so i understand okay but keep trying don't give up be persistent every single day send them a phone every day make it your life's mission to get your account back and you get it back anyways guys subscribe to my channel um i'll continue posting content on here i hope this has helped you and um thank you for listening and have a good day